All right, forgive the low quality uh, cell phone footage here, but uh, didn't have time to pick up the uh, GoPro today. Uh, you might think that, well, you know what? Uh, things are looking a little different here. And um, you'd be right, because we're on our way to sell the W210 Mercedes to the mechanic that bought it from us. So we'll spill the beans on the old W210 repairs here. We won't keep you in the dark any longer. Looks like our passenger airbag is off. There's a flicker on the hazard light. That's kind of weird. It's not flickering, but the phone thinks it is. Well, anyway, let's move on. All right, folks, so we're going to head on over to the Euro shop that's repaired our W210 Mercedes, right? So, uh, good news story is I correctly diagnosed the problem right out of the gate. And then my corrective action was faulty. I'll let you in on a little secret. When you replace the fuel pump on your W210 Mercedes, there's a little shipping plug that comes in the pump and it's stuck in the fuel outlet, right? You've got to pull that out before you install your fuel pump. So <laughs> that's what the problem was all along. I correctly diagnosed the fuel pump as being the original issue, but when I put the new one in, I didn't take the shipping plug out. And you know what? Somebody, Some of you may have commented in the videos uh, along the way on that. If you did, boom, kudos for you. You caught it. Uh, I surely didn't. I just put it in there and boom, I was just in a hurry, slapped it in there. And of course, fuel can't go through a shipping plug at the end of a fuel pump. So there you go. The car works, it runs and drives again. And you know, I was kind of thinking about letting her go uh, because I've got too many projects around the old house there. And uh, you know, and the mechanic, he's somewhat of an enthusiast. It's, you know, he's a, a Euro uh, specialist, you know. So he uh, he's like, you know, I tell you what, I'll make you an offer on this car and you won't have to pay for the repair. I'm like, okay sold buddy so you know i didn't get a whole lot of money for the car but i got my money back on the parts i originally spent plus some extra so we can dig in and maybe get some goodies for the uh for the shop so hey you know it's kind of a win-win situation all right so you may ask yourself what exactly are we in here today well i was planning on doing a video a separate video on this new ride we have here it's going to be our daily driver, and uh, the newest car I've got is an 05 model, and that just won't do. So what we're in is a 2015 Golf Sport Wagon with a 2-liter dieselgate engine. And man, she got the power. That makes 150 horsepower with 236 pound-feet of torque. This is what you call one of those diesel gate cars, right? And this one has low miles. We're looking at, I don't have it set to the odometer currently, but it's um, mostly because I don't know how to use any of the stuff. Where's the right button at? I don't know. It's got 58,500 miles, so it's pretty low, right? So 2015 with 58,000 miles on it, that's pretty doggone good. It's got a three-month warranty on it, and I'm thankful for that because right out of the gate, uh, on my test drive the other morning, I began to notice something, and I'm going to see if you guys, I doubt very seriously if you can, but I sure can. Listen. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's wheel bearings, folks. And if I were to put the transmission in neutral, it would do the same thing. So, yeah, it's going to be covered under warranty. I'm going to take it to a nice Euro shop, and they're going to fix this up, right? But what I was going to do, like, a thorough, in-depth uh, video of this car immediately, right after I got it. 
Uh, but I decided to forego that and then get, you know, any little nitpicking repairs done that I need to get done first. And then we'll, we'll get her back home and we'll, we'll show you the car and give an in-depth review on this new vehicle in our fleet. And I must say the interior on this car is just immaculate. I mean, you just, there's not a scratch anywhere that I can find. I may find one here in a few days, but by golly, this thing is incredible. All right, well, let's get on over to the shop and uh, do a deal with the mechanic and uh, make a little money. All right, my friends, this is the culprit. This is what caused all the issues with not being able to start our W210 after my so-called repair. And uh, this was put over the end of the um, the fuel pump. I cannot believe I didn't see that when I put that fuel pump on that car. But nonetheless, this is what it is right here, folks. You put a new fuel pump on your Mercedes. Make sure you don't have anything covering up the fuel outlet or by golly, it won't start. All right, that's all for this vlog. Coming up in a future video, we'll be talking about our brand new Volkswagen, or at least new to us anyway. But for right now, the W210 is out of the picture. And, uh, well, it was kind of like saying goodbye to an old friend, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's time to move on. And I appreciate everyone here who's made comments and who has emailed me and helped me through this process. And uh, you guys have a good one. Appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video, don't forget to click that little bell down below. You guys know where it is. That's all for now. We'll talk to you very soon.